Happy Friday people and welcome back to another short video by the Audio Filing Car. Today we're going to take you through an installation on a VW T6, a really popular vehicle and a really popular hi-fi upgrade. So what we've done in here, we've taken the original factory radio and we've coded it for hi-fi. This makes a really big difference, so we've got a really good clean output on there rather than the nasty speaker level that you'd normally work with. What you see underneath it is the DRC MP controller. This is what allows us to control the level of the subwoofer, to change the listening position from driver focus to neutral focus, and also to switch the inputs from master input, which would be the factory radio. If I press the select button, which I won't do now, it will switch over to optical input. When it switches to optical input, it links the hi-fi system to a high-res Bluetooth streamer, which we've installed. It's brand new technology. It's not like Wi-Fi, it's Bluetooth. Um, it's very clever. The sound quality is actually really, really good. Not like the Bluetooth that, we're all, that we all think about. Now we've used the Audison Voce front components, some of the favorite speakers. They feature in lots of our installations. And we've done our three layer soundproofing system or three stage soundproofing system. That means we take off the door card, we soundproof the entire back of the door card. So it's really, really solid now. Then we drop out the metal plate, which is behind there, which the window mechanism is bolted to. That's a lot of work, not everybody does it. Some people do, of course. We drop that out, we soundproof that, and then it allows us to gain access to the back of the door, the actual door skin itself. Now, it's a huge piece of metal in a T5 or a T6, so it's really important that that's correctly damped. You can't do it through the speaker hole. Anyone that does it without taking that panel off is not doing it properly. You've got to strip it down to do it. Big job, but well worth it when you see the end result or hear the end result. We've flushed the Audison tweeter into the original location, but it has to go on the front face of the factory grill. That's because the factory grill is extremely directional. If we put the tweeter behind, as you move your head around the listening position, you'll hear the frequency response change dramatically. So you'll hear the high frequencies come in when you lean forward, when you lean back, the high frequencies disappear. It completely ruins the sound stage. So it's essential that these tweeters are either flushed in or put in little builds. We can put them in builds on axis if you want, that's absolutely not a problem at all, but it does add quite a bit of cost to the job or a reasonable cost to the job. The idea of this, it's very simple for us to do. It's pretty quick, um, that way it's cost effective. Moving around to the back of the vehicle, to where the powerhouse is. We undo this panel here. We can see that we've got the JL Audio three channel class D amplifier. So that runs the front speakers and the under seat subwoofer. It's mounted on the MDF panel. So there's no drilling to the vehicle whatsoever. We've used all connection best phono cables, um, which are our favorite interconnects, Stinger power cabling. We've used the H8 DSP, which is the Hertz digital processor. This now replaces the Audison Bit 10D in all of our installs. The Bit 10D is unfortunately discontinued, still a great bit of kit. The Hertz H8, very, very similar product, and that's going to replace it. In the background here, you can see the high-res Bluetooth streamer, and just behind that, you can see a very high-quality, regulated, noise-free, and it's very important to be noise-free, USB power supply. That's what powers the Bluetooth streamer. So there you go. When we pop this back in, put the seat into the normal position, all of the electronics are completely hidden. Moving across to the driver's seat, you can see that we've got a custom MDF stacked enclosure. Um, that's something that's available to purchase. They're not very expensive. Gives a shout if that's something you're interested in. And we've added the Audison 10 inch subwoofer. So that produces an excellent amount of quite extended and quite controlled bass and actually has the effect of giving you a little massage when you sit in the driver's seat. So there you go. If you've got a T6 or a T5, because it's quite similar, and you would like this upgrade for your own vehicle or to discuss this upgrade, just give us a call, drop us an email, or visit our website. Also, don't forget to give us a follow, don't forget to give us a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. And if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll see lots of similar videos. We post them as frequently as we can. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a great weekend.